Hello, how are you doing? It's Latvian teacher Ilze B here with my Latvian verb challenge of November 2018. And if you are sticking with me, it tells me that you are seriously interested in learning Latvian because learning verbs is a serious thing. So this challenge is going to be more serious than my previous challenge for words a day. I'm not going to stand on my head here. I'm going to teach you serious stuff but it's also going to be very useful stuff. So if you are not in the serious mood exactly, maybe this is the time to switch to something else. But if you want to learn more about Latvian verbs and hear things that I don't see elsewhere explained in videos by other Latvian teachers, then this is the place where to stay. So let's remember what we learned yesterday. And Yesterday I taught you the verb meklēt and meklēt means to look for or to search for and if you downloaded the free note sheet you also learned more verbs and why I picked these exact verbs is because they belong to a certain group. Yes, I told you that I picked the verb meklēt because it's a useful verb, which is true, but I also picked it because it belongs to a certain group. And the groups, how verbs are categorized, are called conjugations. So this conjugation that the verb meklēt belongs to is called the second conjugation. And why I started from the second conjugation is because it is the easiest conjugation. At least for us Latvians it seems the easiest one. And all the verbs that you downloaded with the yesterday's video also belong to the second conjugation. Now, how do we determine to which conjugation a verb belongs to? Well, we look at two things. First, we look at the composition of the verb or the parts of the verb. So that's one thing that we are looking at. And the other thing that we are looking at is how that verb changes from the simple present tense in first person to the simple past tense in the first person singular. Now, let's revise about the persons because there are persons also in English. So the first person pronouns in English are I and we. And I taught you these words in Latvian yesterday as well. So I is S and we is mēs. But now let's get back to our verb meklēt. Remember the simple present form was S meklēju. And we had a sentence, es meklēju atslēgu. But this sentence can also mean, I looked for the key. Es meklēju atslēgu. Because meklēju has the same form in the simple present tense and in the simple past tense. And there are no continuous or progressive tenses like in English. The sentence I am looking for is in the continuous tense. There is no such form in Latvian. So how do we know that we are talking about the past when I say es meklēju atslēgu? Well, if it's not understood from the context, then we need to add some word that clarifies it. For instance, if I wanted to say yesterday, that would be vakar. Vakar. But now I'll switch to slides and I'll explain you about the parts of verbs and I'll give you another verb and some more sentences. Let's look at the parts of the verb that we already know. The verb meklēt. As you know, t is the infinitive ending. The vowel before the ending is the suffix. Every second conjugation verb has a suffix that is either the long vowel or 
the diphthong o and the next verb that I will teach you will have that suffix o. But now let's look what other parts this verb could have. And this verb could have a prefix. If it had a prefix ne, then this verb would mean to not look for. When this verb looks like this, then the ending is u and y is another suffix. So there are two suffixes, e and y. But now I'll teach you another second conjugation verb that will act the same way as this one. And the verb is labot. Labot means to correct or to fix. In this verb, the root is lab, ua is the suffix, and t is the infinitive ending. And now I'll show you how I'm using this verb in two sentences. Those sentences will be, yesterday I corrected an error, today I am fixing a car. And we need to learn some new words. First, we don't know the word an error, and that is kluda, kluda. We also don't know the word a car, and that is machina. Machina, and the third word that you don't know is today, and that is shuadien, shuadien. And now let's look at the sentences. Vakar es laboju kludu, shuadien es laboju machinu. I'll read them again. Vakar es laboju kludu, šodien es laboju mašīnu. And I'll read them one more time, but faster. Vakar es laboju kļūdu, šodien es laboju mašīnu. Notice that the verb looks identical in both sentences, although the first sentence is in the simple past tense and the second sentence is in the simple present tense. And that's all that I wanted to show you in slides. All right, I hope you found this lesson very valuable. See you tomorrow. Ata, bye-bye.